I hope everyone is well. Um, well, we're back this week with the auction lots. Yes, we. Uh, you're watching this a week later, but in um, in actual reality, it's about twenty minutes later. We've just had our coffee, haven't we? We have. We needed that because we were a bit dishevelled, weren't we? Got wet. I've had to brush my hair, um, and now we're going to actually go through the unboxing of the um, the first auction lot. Mm. But I'm going to be honest, hun. I'm a little bit nervous um, because Paul has just bought it in. Um, from the van, almost giving himself a hernia. Very, very <laughs> it's heavy. It's very it, heavy, is it? Sort of take you, me back to those, the, the, when we got, the got the, all those books. You're going to suffer yeah. tomorrow with that. Yeah. Um, but it, this was a lot, 150, and we paid, I think, in total, £60.90 and 90 something. Yeah. Um, and now I've got to sort of show the box, and everyone's going to go, what? How much <laughs> have you paid for that? I know, um, I know. So I'm a little bit nervous, if I'm honest. Perhaps we should have another coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Delay it a bit. That's it. So let's show it then, Let's shall have we? a look. Yes, yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> it's a quick recap for any of those that um, didn't watch the last video. Um, this was a Marilyn Monroe lot mm. that I was quite keen on. It was lot 150. Um, when I counted at the auction, I thought there was about 43 items. So the way I sort of priced it is, if I was at a boot sale, would I pay a pound an item? And that's sort of how I priced it. Yeah. Um, so I sort of thought I'd bid 50, um, but it actually um, came out to be 46. So it's under what I was going to pay. Mm. But with fees, I'm going to have a look now, hun. Sixty pound ninety two. I've got it written down. Sixty ninety two. Sixty pound ninety two. Now this, box. this is the thing, hun. <laughs> if I was at a boot sale, would I pay sixty pound ninety two yeah, for this? To a box and, yeah. Is I there anyone think... watching that would pay that? Because <laughs> I certainly wouldn't. Would you pay sixty pound? No, I wouldn't. Let me show you these two things as well, though, because I don't want to mislead anyone. There's these two things as well. Let's come with it. But I, on on reflection. Um, 60, 60 pounds and 92p seems quite a lot for a box of books. Anyway, so, I think, <laughs> I think there, was a reason, there was a reason I got it, and that yeah. was to do with coins. There were some coins in it, so I'm going to go straight for those now, try and redeem myself. Um, these are some coins. That was um, what we sort of saw. We did a bit of research beforehand. Oh, my angle in it right. So these are five coins. Um, I believe they're something like 24 karat gold plated or something like that. Yeah. Well, that was difficult. And this is what we, on, on the day of the auction, um, when we went and had a look around, this is the bit that made me think, oh, because we've had a, um, a Laurel and Hardy bundle before that went for really good money, but yes. that had lots of figures in. It did. This yeah, doesn't have, it. well, it's... I can't see any figures at the minute, but I don't think mm. it's going to have figures in. This is mainly books. And calendars, but some calendars, because we've sold um, Wallace and Gromit calendars, yes. some calendars can be worth a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. I don't think these are vintage, but um, anyway, so coins. This is why we got it for, because I thought that was quite nice. So it's a lot of pages for the coins, then. Yes, well, I was hoping there's going to be something here, hun. Well, I'm hoping. Um, so DVDs, oh, they're going to be worth about 30p, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. So a couple of DVDs. Two more. I don't think I've ever seen a Marilyn Monroe film with you. She was a little bit before our time, wasn't yeah. she? No, I don't know if I don't have. I don't think I ever have. But very iconic. Mm. And um, the thing with an icon is that it's not just back in the day that people like an icon. It, it, they carry on, don't they? Mm. They're sort of, um, their story carries on. CD. Oh, sealed CD. Sealed. Oh, oh semi, sealed. Semi-sealed. Semi -sealed. <laughs> <laughs> it's come undone. Yeah, but originally, cool. when I was looking at this, I was looking at bundling. So um, let's have a look. A purse. Ooh, a dirty purse. Oh, do you think that's her original signature? <laughs> <laughs> worth a fortune. Is there any money in it, hun? No. <laughs> of course there's not. So we've got a book. Marilyn Monroe, Unseen Archives. A block, memo block and pen. That's quite cute, isn't it? Mm. Put on top of the purse. Oh, uh, we're going to get our money back, huh? We've got our fridge magnet. Oh, yay. <laughs> Woo! Oh. 
months. But, but so. my, all the good stuff's coming out now. I know, I know. All the stuff that's worth a fortune. All right, let's have a look at some of these books then. We've got Marilyn Monroe. Now, I did do a bit of research before we bought the, the lot, and some book bundles do go for good money. What's the betting we haven't got those books? I know, that's it. Well, that's of the it. cheap books, that are three quid each. <laughs> we'll see. But um, I would be looking at bundling them together. Oh, heavy books, hon. You're going to love that when you've got to wrap them up. Excellent. <laughs> Definitely a fan here. Mm. Well, that's a cushioned book. Getting to the good stuff now. Um, souvenir bookazine. Oh, that yeah. looks like handmade in some way. Look, that is. That's Are they something? Oh, oh that okay. looks like it's a postcard or something like that. So okay. whether I can get those off there without damaging them or not, I don't know. Um, but that's worth a go, isn't it? So you don't think somebody would buy it as it is? Then? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, a bit of damage there. Gone but not forgotten. I mean, I'm obviously going to learn quite a bit about Marilyn Monroe, mm. which is always good, isn't it? Oh, that's face similar to that other one, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I always thought the person got this and then made his own version, his or her version. You don't know, do you, with a, <laughs> with a collector? Yours retro. All about her life. Oh, God, that's a heavy one. The Marilyn Encyclopedia. A bit um, rough around the edges, but, um, you know, second-hand books, isn't that, I suppose? Another one, Marilyn Monroe. A bit Smith's look vintage. Well, hopefully the vintage ones might be worth a bit. Yeah, yeah, there is a quite a few here. So Monroe, I that's sun damage. Looks a bit sun damaged. It doesn't does, it? doesn't it? Mm. Another one, hardback. Well, all right, honey. If we wanted books, <laughs> Norma Jean. I'm going to do a couple of book bundles here. This one's by Norman Mailer. I know nothing about um, Marilyn Monroe. Calendar. What year? Oh, 2013. Well, it doesn't look like it's been written in, so that's a good thing. We'll have to go through all those pages. What fun that's going to be. Um, that there's that a level. few. That's that 2023, a few. 2010. Oh, okay. Nine. I have to have a look at all those then. Yeah. I'm not just see. Oh, there's a few of them there. Eight, seven. seven. Oh, so hopefully if they're consecutive, I might be able to do a couple of Who bundles. Must, yeah. See if they're worth anything. I don't know because they don't. It's all the different. They images, don't look brand it? new. Do you know what I mean? They look. No. Like they've been used, but not they've, used. They've been, they've been stored. Up. Yeah. But even though the little dot's not too badly, you know, so I don't know if it has been has been used because sometimes that pulls oh, yeah, a bit, doesn't it? it does, yeah. Perhaps someone just bought them for a collection. 2017. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's whiz through these then because people will be falling asleep. 2016. Yeah. 15. Oh. 14. 13. Didn't we have 13? Yeah, we did have 13, yeah. Doubles. And then... It doesn't even look like her, does it? 2012. Mm. Um, okay. Right, so let's go for something a bit different. Tins. Well, that's been used, look. It's got the old... Um... That's the double-sided pads. Yeah, <laughs> that's going <laughs> to be all the sticky a nightmare that to get that off. That is going to be an absolute pain, but there well, you go. I might be able to put those two together, yeah. though, because I don't think they'll have a lot of value on their own. Yeah, that's it. What we've got here... Ooh. The Men Who Murdered Marilyn. Oh, cheery. Mm. Oh, a bit um, doodad. Oh, let's have a look. A couple of pictures. Oh, look how young she was there, look. Yep, let's put that one over there. Oh, are they stamps? Yeah, stamps. that's cool. What year are we talking there? I don't know. I've got glasses on, hun. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my arm, but looks a little bit, a little bit. Um, I don't know. Is it meant to be like that? It looks a little bit faded, but mm. that might be just be okay. my eyes. I'm sure we can find out. Let's have a look. Marilyn style. It's a pretty dress, isn't it? Mm. Didn't we have this one before? We did. This was a sun damaged one, wasn't it? Another mm. one. 
Oh, fuck a. Oh, it's just DVD. I wonder if that's going to go with one of those DVDs. Yeah, probably. No. Oh. Oh. Marilyn and Monroe picture. It's nice, isn't it, with all the other little bits there? I wonder if someone's made that up. What's this? Oh my god, it's, oh. A, it's an autopsy report. <laughs> Lovely. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, hun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. An autopsy report. Why, why would you have that? Okay. I'm not so keen on that, hun. It's a bit um, morbid. Oh, it's 2022 calendar, look. Mm. There's a 23 one in there somewhere. Oh, that's been written in that one. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Well, if someone might still be interested. 2017. That's a little so bit better. there's a lot up. of calendars, isn't there? Yeah. And then what we got? Oh, we're getting to oh, the. We're getting to the end now, Han. I'm not seeing a lot of money. <laughs> Tanzania. Somalia. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. She says, not known much. I mean, we've not had a lot of luck with stamps. I just put that that yeah, side, yeah. I've got nowhere to put it. Oh. Is this like magazine covers? Um, yeah. yeah, it does look like it. Oh, you've got two the same at the top there, but um, yeah. Hmm. Someone made it up themselves, I think. Yeah. It's just not, not quite that straight. Um, okay, cool. Is that the last item? <laughs> I don't know. Have we showed the um, canvases? I've got them by my feet here. I'm trying not to forget that's, them. That's quite cool, isn't it? That yeah. frame there. Nice pictures. Oh, it's two the same there. Yeah. Okay. Whether there's any money in that or not, these are good dust. Yeah, you could do one by one on so the canvases. It was... And then you have this one. <laughs> this one here. Yep. And then this one here. Needs a bit of a clean. Whether you can clean a canvas like that, I don't yeah, know. Whether don't it's got know. some sort of coating. It's, 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 I'll yeah. get the old baby wipe out and keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> well, there you go, Harlan. Yeah, well. I'm going to need a bit of cake, I think, just to console myself. Cake? If I was honest, I'm worried. <laughs> well, um, we'll have a look, won't we? And, yeah, uh, you just don't know, do you? I mean, as I say, I've seen bundles of books going for £45, but I doubt we'll be lucky enough to have those books. Mm. Um, my initial thoughts are, what have I done? <laughs> 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 but you just don't know, do you? You don't know. I don't no. know anything about Man and Monroe. I don't know what a calendar, a vintage calendar's worth. Who knows? Mm. Um, but let us know in the comments um, at think? this stage <laughs> in the video. Have I made a colossal, colossal error there? Um, well. But what we're going to do later on in this video, um, we're going to come back, and it will probably be a day or so later, but yeah. it will show you all of our listings because we are um, – Definitely listing everything straight away these days. Yeah. This year, it's been not one of our things, isn't it? Totally. List it straight away, um, and we'll show you all our listings and give you a, a, a sort of uh, oh, there you are. Give you a <laughs> value of what um, what we're putting up for and um, whether we're actually going to make any money on it. But I hope, I hope so, hum, because it's a lot of work mm. if not. So I want everyone to keep their fingers crossed for me now. And um, I think what we'll do is we'll move this and, and move on, move to, the on to the next one. one um, that we paid a bit less for. Yeah. So here we are, the second lot. Second lot, Hannah. I'm yep. going to be honest, I'm a little bit deflated, so I'm going to try and <laughs> try and cheer myself up and hope that this one's a good one. Yeah. Um, this is lot 309. Um, we paid £30. So with the fees, come to £39.70. Okay. And the only reason I got this is because vintage ice skates. What's not to love about a vintage ice skate? Mm. Uh, but also, I saw some brass. I, I, a bit of a sucker when it comes we to do, brass. We do wear. like a bit of brass. I do like a bit of brass. So, let's have a look. Um, oh, they look a little bit gammy, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to touch them. <laughs> People have had their feet in there as well. So, <laughs> anyway, let's start with this one. I mean, I like the fact they had these leather things on. I think that's one of the reasons they look quite old, don't they? Mm. Um, let's have a look. Because didn't when we were there... Ember K. So there's a pair of, well, I hope they're a pair. I haven't checked, hun. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> Just lots of random yeah, single ice oh, skates. Yeah, they look nice, don't they? Nice mm. leather. Decent size as well. Ooh. Oh, my goodness me, oh, that's wow. heavy. It's, uh, that's um, like an artillery thing, isn't it? Like a, a shell chef. casing. Mm. I might have to get my glasses now, hun. Oh, 
Let's have a look then. 1951. Wow. Blimey. Okay. Okay then. It's random, isn't it? Mm, it is. Ice skates, shell casing. Let's pick up this. Oh, goodness me, that's even heavier. Well, it looks Ooh. like I've glued that, huh? <laughs> What's that saying there? Falkland Islands, 1980. So that's the same sort of thing. That's like the base of that, isn't it? Like a base of a... It does, doesn't you, it? Use your other hand. You feel how heavy that is? Oh, blimey. I wonder if that's worth more in scrap. <laughs> <laughs> that is really heavy. All right, let's have a look. Spalding Olympic. That's what we spotted when we had a walk around the auction, didn't we? I thought, well, they look like they're really well made. A pair of those. Let's do the uh, third, Ooh, third ones. These look smaller, don't they? They do. I mean, that's got 1935 there, but that might just be a product code. Mm. This is four, I think, four and a half. Okay. Someone with dainty feet. Okay, so we've got three pairs of vintage ice skates. We've got some, they haven't got a lot of weight to them, but still they're quite nice. Like, you know, visually, they're quite nice. Yes, they are. I mean, the top of that looks like it's gone a bit, bit wonky. Funny, but, yeah. And then we've got this, which is some sort of, um, you know, it's got a can, looks like it's a candle holder. It's a bit wonky, but nice design, isn't it? Mm. Sure that is. And then we've got this. And I think we looked at this on the on the day of the auction, didn't we? This is presented to someone in appreci appreciation of their valuable services, 1921 to 1922. Oh. oh, if only I could open it, hun. Oh. Hey. They're nice, don't they? We've done all right they with little, nice. um, little knives. Yeah, we have. Harrison Fisher & Co, Sheffield. Yeah. Okay. They look all right, don't they? They, they? Do. they look oh, nice. There's some sort of mark clean. there. I don't, I don't know if you'll pick, pick that up. up. I can't pick that up even with my glasses on hand. I've got my magnifying glass there. That'll come in handy. Mm. Well, there you oh, go. That's cool. Well, that was a, a quick one, wasn't it? So um, they're, they're saying, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> £39.70. Is that, uh, I think we've done all right there, do you? I think we have. I mean, we have sold some ice skates in the past, haven't we? We not, have, not yeah. Loads, not loads. And we've sold some knife um, sets. So Yes, yeah. Um, we've not done this sort of thing with the... Um, <clears throat> shell casing this sort of thing we've not done no. that have we, before but we have sold candlesticks before yes yeah, so hopefully well, there's some money to be made there but yeah. well you know in the next section of the video you'll sort of see what we've um turned it into i suppose it's probably i'm looking at hours of work by the looks of it huh? hours of um <laughs> research i've got to check all of those man and row books check these skates a lot of learning to be done this afternoon. Yeah, definitely. So we'll see you in a second. Yeah. Well, it may only be a minute to, to you now in this video, but in real time, we are actually coming to you two weeks later. Yes. So when it goes through, yeah. it's been a long two weeks. It um, has. It did take about a week to 10 days to get all of the items um, listed, but we thought we'd leave it a couple of weeks so then we can go through and um, let you know if anything's sold. So let's go through what we made of this Man and Run Row lot. So the picture that's up, the book bundle of four books, um, we put this up for nineteen ninety nine, and we were quite surprised, huh, weren't we? We were very surprised. When they sold for full price. Fantastic. So then we're going to move on to the next one, which is a vintage book bundle of five books. So the way we sort of grouped them together is vintage and non-vintage. Um, these went up for $26.99. And I'm going to dedicate this one to the legend that is Jeff. He loves, <laughs> our, he loves our full price little ditty. Um, but this also went, didn't it, Han? It did. Then we've got these Marilyn. This is just one book. I did Google all the books. I say Google. I must stop saying that. When I say Google, what I actually mean is I went on solds on eBay, but for some reason, my brain says I've Googled it. <laughs> um, so this book um, was separated. It's by James Spader. I'm going to say Spader. Spader? Spader. Yeah, I mean. $12.99. That's been put up for that. We've got another single book, Marilyn's Style Book. This has been put up for $22.99. We've got the um, two lots, the two CD box sets. They've been put together, hun, fourteen ninety nine. Then we had quite a few calendars, and they were in yeah. chronological order, which is always a bonus. 
So we separate them into two lots, didn't we, Han? First one is five calendars, 2006 to 2010, and we put them up for 28 99 mm. Seems a lot of money, doesn't it, for it a does. few calendars, <laughs> but they've not been written in or anything. They're, in, they're not new, aren't they, really? Um, then we've got the next lot, which is six calendars, which were the years 2012 to 2017. Yeah. These have gone up for 32 99 Then the whole reason we bought this lot, Han, was because I saw these coins. Mm. These are five 24-carat coins in a collectible sort of case with a little authenticity sort yes. of um, card. Yeah, they were quite, quite nice, weren't they? We put them up for thirty four ninety nine. dollars mm. Now, they have sold, haven't they? They have. Um, and they sold um, for £28. We were going backwards and forwards, weren't we? We were, yeah. Because the listing was a new listing, you're sort of reluctant to go too cheap too and soon. did they start um, off at something like 18 It was, it was, it was something quite like low, that. wasn't it? Was it? We were trying to get up thought, to 30 no, there's, there's no way we would have. No, it's pretty, you know, not, not quite. We did the little dance, halfway. didn't we, for quite a bit? <laughs> yeah, you do. You <laughs> and do, eventually but, we sort of come down to know, 28. We come down to 28. We wouldn't normally go to 28 that quick, um, but the thing is we're making profit. Yes, and there um, was some so, damage on the base of the box where I think the previous um, uh, person who owned it yes, had, had yes, glued it down yeah, onto something. It down something yeah. So That's if it true. had been perfect, we probably wouldn't have budged, but because mm. there was a bit of damage... Um, but that sold on the 25th. I should have said the others sold on the 24th and 26th. So they've all sold in quite a quick um, they have, yeah, space which of is, time. Which is nice, yeah. And it is nice because I was a little bit worried when we went through this lot that I just bought um, very expensive <laughs> books. So at least some of them were sold so yes. I can relax a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. What did I do with these pictures? This is a canvas um, and, they're, and two tin wall arts. Now, the eagle-eyed, uh, or, or the ones with the good memories, might have thought, hold on a minute, wasn't there another canvas? Yes, there was. But someone mentioning no names, me, was a little bit overzealous with the cleaning, <laughs> and, <it's laughs> and it didn't go clean, well. Well, cleaned it a bit too, too cleaned rigorously. Cleaned the paint off the canvas, so that had to go in the bin, <laughs> um, which was a little bit annoying, so I was very dainty on the next one, hun. Yeah. Now, this is going to surprise you. Frame stamps. What would you price these at? I think I'd gone too high. Um, it was, um, there's quite a few, I want to say 36 stamps, because I think that's why I priced them at 36 99 because I, mm. I sort of thought, oh, a pound a stamp, that's yeah. not too bad. Expecting someone to knock me down, but no one has yet. It's probably because I, I've overpriced it, but who knows. Um, we've also got these framed magazine cover trading cards. Now these, um, even though they're the same size as the last lot, they've gone up for 12 99 This is because you can buy these trading cards and someone's just bought them and stuck them in a frame. Yeah. So I can't put any more money on that because you can buy them for, I think, for about eight or nine pounds. Yeah. So I've priced them at £12.99. We'll see what comes of it. Now, um, as with any of these sorts of things, you get to um, a point where you have some leftovers. You can't you can only group so much together. Um, so we've literally made a bundle um, of, of items that were left, and this bundle has gone up for £24.99. Now, we had so many items left over that we split them into two bundles. Yeah. So the next bundle went up for twenty four ninety nine again, but this one actually sold, hun, didn't it, on the 23rd of February, and it sold for £20. And then we come to the last um, listing for this particular lot, and it was the DVD bundle for fourteen ninety nine. So in total, um, the, the with the fees and everything, it was £60.92p. We made 14 listings out of that particular lot. That's not bad. This is the listing value, Hun, in total. What's that say? 33,000? <laughs> I is wish. Is there a decimal point? There is a decimal point. You haven't got your glasses on. Three, no, I haven't. <laughs> £336.86. Paul loves value. it when I when I put them on the spot and just, just no, no. shove my pad in front of his face. He loves that. Um, so, so far, we have sold £94.98p's worth of listings but just bear in mind that that um obviously you know that that is just the listing value we haven't taken any postage out we haven't taken any fees yeah that's so it. although so all that's to come out we're pleased aren't we that some items have sold um but with all you know with that whole lot there even though it's 336 pound and 86p the total listing value just be aware that the postage on that is going to be 49 pounds yeah. So there are some chunky bits of money to come out of that. Yes, yeah, but, but it's still still a reasonable amount of money. And out of 14 listings, four have sold already. So yeah. um, I can relax a little bit, hun, yeah. um, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm well, pleased. It, it could have gone worse. It was yeah. a lot of money for a box of books. 
<laughs> but I'm pleased that some of the bits have sold, so I don't look quite so the Wally. <laughs> well, shall we move on now then yes, to the next, next lot thing. before everyone falls asleep? Yep. So, so the next here? lot is lot 309, which is the vintage skates. Now we paid £30 plus fees, so £39.70. Now we had some Spalding Olympic vintage ice skates, size eight and a half. These were put up for £44.99. Then we had these black ice skates, leather again, four and a half. So I've, I've priced them slightly um, lower because they're a yeah. smaller size and not going to be as popular. Yeah. But to be honest with you, all of these skate lots, I think they're going to be props rather I think, than, yeah. rather when than you, using when you, them. Yeah, when you they're, look at them, they, they don't look like they're going to be sturdy enough now. No, I wouldn't want to get on no. the ice with them. Um, and, you uh, know. They're, yeah, you're right. They're just, yeah, they're just old. Just props, I think. Yeah. So thirty four ninety nine for those. And then the last lot, um, the Ember K Brown Leather Ice Skates, um, they were seven, size seven and a half, and they were thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. They've been priced at. So that covers the ice skates, which is one of the reasons why we bought this lot. And um, we also quite like the brass items, so we're going to move on to those now. We have some brass candlesticks. They've gone up for twenty two ninety nine. Then we were very lucky because the um, the sort of butter knives that were in this lovely box. Um, it was in so the box was engraved. They were given um, to someone for their their service to yes, something or other. Right, yeah. I tried googling it, but couldn't, no. couldn't find out what it was. But they were actually from 1923, and they're antique butler knives in a in a box. The blades were stainless steel, um, and the handles were silver. And they were made by Harrison Fisher and Co. So we were a little bit lucky there, hun, because I priced those at 49.99. And they sold on the 25th of February for £40. Yeah. So fantastic. we were quite pleased, weren't we? We were very pleased, yes. Now, with every good thing comes a bad thing. <laughs> so um, you're going to think, oh, she's done really well there with those butter knives. Now you're going to think I'm an absolute wally. Because what we had is um, this lovely, what we've now called a brass vase. vase. <laughs> Trenchart brass vase. But what we originally did, or when I say we, me... Um, what I originally did was I always look at other people's listings to get the, the right keywords to give the listing um, its optimal chance of selling. Yes. And I look on solds and I also look on ones that are currently available. And what I did on this one is I looked at the solds as, oh, trend chart. Okay, trend chart. I use those keywords. And then I looked on the ones that were being sold and I saw the words artillery shell. Mm. Oh, that sounds good, I thought to myself. <laughs> eBay didn't quite think so. No, they so. didn't like it. We got a little bit of a note saying that they'd taken <laughs> our listing down <laughs> because apparently you're not allowed to sell firearms and things like that. <laughs> so, it's empty. Oh, it, it's the thing a, is, it's it's just a bit of a rewording. It wasn't. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's not. It's, it's not just a, a weapon in any form, is it? It's, it may once have been. But, I mean, um, the, the, I am annoyed with myself though because I remember when Ashley listed it, and um, I was thinking to myself, oh, "Can can we do can that? Can we like sell that?" that? Because oh. normally, when there's something like that, I used to. I always thought there was a, a pop up that used to warn you about firearms and things like that, and, and but it didn't yeah. happen. And I thought, "Oh, maybe that's okay." But um, but yeah, in a I way, think in, in my defence, because I, I sort of looked at it as being a vase, um, it didn't enter into my head that I was doing anything wrong. So um, yeah, so yeah. yeah, that got taken down, and we felt very silly. I say we, <laughs> me, I felt very silly. But it is um, what it is, you know. We all make mistakes; it all happens, and uh, you know, yeah, it, just, we're all human. It, just it's, go... <laughs> it's, it's, well, you know, what can you do? No, mistakes it, happen. So it, it, we just move on from that's it. That's it. It just goes to show. That sometimes, I mean, we've we've tried to do this year a new way of listing where we get the stuff in, we work on it instantly, yeah. and we get it listed as quick as we can, and that's it. And we were in the zone because we'd suddenly yeah. had an influx of all this fat. Yeah. Um, so really, <laughs> get rid of it. <laughs> um, I wasn't as slow as I should have been. Well, so anyway, it's there been you go. it's been put on now as a trend. Trench art vase, <laughs> um, and it's up for thirty four ninety nine. It's lovely. We even put water in it to make sure that it's sure it, it, it is a vase. <laughs> it can it, hold water. Don't want to get told yes. off again. No. <laughs> so then we've got this lovely brass nineteen eighties Falklands. Um, I've, I've got the word shell here, but I've not put that. No. It's trench art. It's a bit like an ashtray, I think, yeah. with a coin, a nineteen eighties coin in the middle. Mm, yeah, that's very gone cool. up very heavy. Very heavy. Forty four ninety nine. 
And then we've got um, the last thing is a brass lantern candle holder that we've put up for twenty eight ninety nine. This is sort of like a back in the day, like a souvenir sort of item. Yeah, yeah. So um, as this lot stands, lot three hundred nine, it cost us thirty nine pounds and seventy p. And there you go, hun, in, right in your face. Right in my face the again. Listing value. Just, yep, there's three hundred and one pounds and ninety two pence, which is actually very good. It's good for that amount, for that, yes. For, yeah. So far, we've actually had sales of forty pounds of just the one item, but yeah. you know we're pretty pleased with that, aren't oh, we? Oh yeah, really? definitely, definitely. So you know, hopefully the others will sell and um, we'll get get some good profit out of that. And I think when you compare the two lots, um, the first lot definitely had more time and work devoted to it, um, and in the second lot, the, it was higher priced items which is what we're trying to go for, aren't we? We're trying to get our, our values up, not list yes. things just above £10. We're trying to go with £20 and plus. Mm. Um, so, yes, the second lot for us and our, our sort of model of how we want to run was a better lot. Yes. But sometimes yep. your heart tells you, oh, go for that. Go Marilyn Monroe, she's a Hollywood legend. There's bound to be some money in that. And you get sort of swept away in it. Yeah. But overall, we, um, we're going to make money, so we're quite pleased with that. Definitely. So, the two lots that we've just shown you was a total spend of £100 and 62p. I'll do this bit of because I've written it quite small. Okay. <laughs> the total <laughs> listing value for these 22 listings is £638.78p. But before you think, well, that's quite good, they're going to do quite well there, what we haven't shown you in the video is all of the cleaning that um, I had to do, all of yeah. the research for every that's, single item. That's the thing you have to bear in mind when you're doing all this sort of thing. Is that's you, it. you do have to bear in mind that it, it could take a while to clean and sort and research. And, because not everything know. made it into eBay. Some yeah. things end up in the bin. Yep. Some things will end up at the boot sale um, because not everything has a value to it. Yeah. Um, so, yes, yeah, so it, it does look like the, financially it's going to do all right, but obviously we've not factored into it any time or cost or anything like that. So just be aware of that because it has been a a long, um, it was about a week, 10 days doing um, that and then the other lots. Yeah. So, yes, a lot of time. Hmm. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And, um, you know, what did you think of those items? Yes, you know, let us know. Let us know in the comments. Comments below. Yes. Um, thank you so much for watching. And um, we'll probably do the other two lots uh, soon. Well, yes. be in the next video. Next video. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Um, please do consider subscribing. It is free. Ooh. And um, press the thumbs up. That would be, be amazing. So Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye. Oh, was that natural? Oh, is it me talking? No, no, is that your way of saying you start? Oh, right, okay. You, you know, no, when you I'm, were just I'm going... nodding. Yeah, nodding. No, I didn't know if that was thumbs up, like, no. as in. <laughs> Normally, when people nod, they say, yeah, it's okay to go. <laughs> no, I didn't know if you were just checking I was happy or not. <laughs> Marie? Yes. Yes, go. <laughs> Are we good to go? You need to do the old three, two, one, like they do on the TV, like, you know. Yeah. Right, should we do it then? Yeah. Okay, so I'll just start. Just start talking. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to be staring at me, are you, like that? Because it's, it's off-putting. Right, okay.